My name is Joe Lyles. I'm a... And I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us your story, John. <laughs> I've been turning for quite a number of years, but I'm still learning. You never stop learning. How long? Do we, how old were you when you started, John? About 16, 15? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. One of the methods, if we wanted to turn such a bowl as this, the, the problem is holding, holding the initial piece of wood. And what we have to do is we have what we call pin jaws. In the old days, it used to be literally a piece of round bar with a flat on it, and they used to put a pin into it. Yes, yeah. that's, that's yeah. what that's for. I remember them. Yeah, that's. Uh, but these have superseded them. They're much better. These. Um, put this on. The... Like that. There's the key. There we go. And what we have to do. Is, that's a one inch or a twenty five mil hole to fit that, and that will fit nicely on there. How does this thing work? That's it. That's it. That. Wrong way. And that. Is that turned down? Soon see. Is that the slowest it'll come? Yeah. 400. Don't get it, it's way off centre, isn't it? Don't break my leg, will it? I'm not going to do any turning with that because I don't think it's No, well, it's, it's not. But, um, but that shows you how mm. you can hold it down. <coughs> yeah. So, um, this is another method of uh, reverse chucking when you're doing bowls, and these are called cold jaws. They are rather expensive, I think these are 50 odd 60 pounds, and the idea is that, as you see, there's lines around the plates where you can position these rubber holding pieces, and uh, <coughs> of course, obviously, we can use the um, key to, to bring them in to grip it. Now the idea is that it goes on the lathe, so the, there can be a problem with these because of the size. When you, you have it running and you stop it, you've got to be careful that it doesn't override and starts to unwind itself. So you have to be careful on that. Now the idea is that with the rubber stops they will grip the bowl and we tighten it up what we really need is a longer handle Should have brought me a long handle as well. There we go. I think that will do it. Are cold jaws suitable for all sort of woods or sort of wet woods or dry woods or is it better for? It, it is, but the only thing is with uh, if you're going to use it on wet wood you want to be doing it on the same day. If you right. leave it um, a day with, with wet wood, it can warp and then it will not sit properly ah, right. on there. But it's one of them things you get used to if you use them regular. And, and that basically... You see that? That's not running through there, no. because that the the uh, 
the bowl itself has been left and it's dried and uh, it, it's, it's uh, not running through on that. So I suppose it's another um, way of being able to finish the bo bottom of the bowl like we did with the foam version. Yes, exactly, yes. And the other thing is that you, you, you need to be restricted to these rubbers. Um, I have done it where um, I've got a, a piece of wood, put it on, and I've used actually bolts okay. to grip it so that I can turn the bottom and put a, a, a chuck recess in the bottom. Mm. Um, I do stools and that's the way I would do them. Could you do it so um, if any of this off centre work, would, could you use that for that at all? Yes. So you, you could, could actually, you know, yeah, in a bird, right. you know, set it off centre. Yeah, I mean the, these, as you see, we've got holes. There's no reason why you can't put it to one side. Yeah. And, and grip it on, on there. And you can see there that it's not set correct. Yeah. So that was, Chris just come back in, so that bit of wood that you had was a wet turned yeah. item. And it's warped. It has yeah, warped, that yeah. That's not running true. Yeah. No. But it, it's another method. The other thing is as well, is that you can screw uh, pieces of wood onto the uh, coal jaws, mm -hmm. cut them into segments, four segments, and then put a recess in the piece of wood to put work in basically making it like a jam chuck except yeah. that you've got the you can yeah. close it could you actually make one of those out of a bit of wood yeah. so you actually yeah. can make your own mm. set of cold yes. jaws because yeah. what did you say they those sort of things retail at the, these are 50 or 50, 50 60 pounds I can't remember yeah. exactly uh, i do have a small set actually um uh, like a faceplate jaws, and they're only uh, six inches. Okay. And I use them a lot. Um, yeah. Again, cut me segments of wood and screw it on. Mm. And, and make, uh, again, like a jam chalk. Yeah.